Artificial intelligence in the classroom. Not always welcome, but the Jordan District is changing that through a new pilot program. New special Stan Rascone join us with that story now. And Dan, this is something teachers actually want to see in their classroom, right? Yes, this is something teachers are very excited about. You know, we all know that artificial intelligence can be a very touchy subject when it comes to getting it into the classroom. But in the Jordan School District, they want to embrace it. At West Jordan Middle School. So as they come around, I'm going to take a look for those as well. Inside Mr. Andrew Holmes' ninth grade science class. They ate all the grass. Grass is gone. There is a brand new assistant this year. One that cannot be found on the bookshelf or standing in front of the classroom. No, this one is found online, an artificial intelligence that is lightening Andrew's load in a big way. Inside school AI, I can create something called a space where the kids have a dedicated topic. With this new AI program, Andrew can ask any science question he or his students want to know. I am still confused on the white blood cells. And within a matter of seconds, he has an answer. Over the program can also build elaborate lesson yeah, plans yeah, an and activities like on whatever yeah, topic yeah. he wants. And he could input the grade level like grade and subject matter. I'm stoked. I, it's going to change how I teach certain things. It was back in May when the Jordan School District teamed up with a company out of American Fork called School AI to try it out as a pilot program. Right now, 500 teachers are using it. We want AI to be a tool that students can use to get to deeper learning. The district superintendent, Dr. Anthony Godfrey, is sold on it. When we had calculators come out, we were worried that students weren't going to learn math anymore. When the internet came out, we were worried that Google was going to replace everything in schools. Now we have artificial intelligence. And I think everybody's excited about this. Jared Covilli handles all the digital teaching and learning in the district. We want students creating original work. We don't want computers writing students' assignments for them. But at the same time, there's no, there's no real set rules on whether you can use computers or technology to help you in that writing process. A process Andrew believes will only help. I think it's going to be able to help me do my job better. Because About the 100 students teachers are working with a company right now as part of the beta testing to get all the kinks out. And then they hope to roll it out to students within the next month. At West Jordan Middle School, I'm Dan Rascone for KSL 